Hi everyone, we're back with more live interviews with local North Florida businesses. We've been having so much fun interviewing and, and learning more about um, what these businesses have to offer and who they are and how they got started. Um, and today we have with us Gabriella and she's the owner and founder of the White Lotus Studio um, of Mindful Living. So welcome and thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So tell us a little oh, bit yeah, more absolutely. about when you started your business and why. Uh, it's the beginning of 2019. Um, I started as a just a uh, counseling uh, Reiki practice. And then it developed into, um, I developed my own product line. Um, I developed a product line where we carry, you know, essential oils, medical grade, um, that treat different um, medical conditions um, like anxiety, depression, and hormonal imbalance. Is migraine headaches, pain creams. Uh, we have um, just um, essential oils that um, will help you, um, like a mood lifter. And so, as I was treating my clients, um, I was trying to find different ways to treat them as colleagues as well. Um, I partnered. Uh, with Dr. Martinez, he's a psychiatrist, uh, very respected psychiatrist here in town, um, that um, had um, mentioned to me that he had a lot of patients did not do well on their uh, patients and um, could use something natural. So we we um, we started formulating that, which I have added that to my studio. I have uh, I've seen my studio other places in town. Um, they also carry them. There's a few yoga studios. There's a few uh, boutiques that carry the products. But the business itself is geared towards women and assisting them in finding a place of um, retreat, um, of finding themselves, of um, uh, we do a lot of um, women support groups as well as um i do one-on-one -on -one sessions i do transformational coaching i do reiki sessions and then we do um circle tea time we do women's sacred circle do, um, um classes like herbalism classes we do reiki classes um we do meditation classes um but the the Idea the point behind women to be able to mother and support each other. That was the, and it continues to be my main concern. Yes, that makes sense. So, what is one of the most popular services or products that you find just? People are the most with. popular service is the Reiki sessions. Uh, people really love the Reiki. Um, it's a very empowering um, body and helps health, but it also helps spirit swap or removes blocks um, when you feel stuck in life or when you're going to a transitional time. Um, it's very effective um, for teenagers as well, self-esteem, spiritual and level, which has been moving to make different cell level, and um, and we are extremely 
um, dedicated and focused on working with that modality. I also um, have yoga classes. I don't do the yoga, um, but I have um, a great friend of mine, the owner um, of a yoga studio here at the Yoga Den at the World Golf. Oh, yeah. She teaches in my studio yoga classes. And, um, and I, we do, um, and I think that's the most popular, um, the Reiki is the most popular along with the classes. The classes are a lot of fun and you learn a lot of things on how to um, incorporate holistic um, food and teas and, and oils into your everyday life. And of course, that's, you know, a huge um, thing to improve your health. So that's really our main um the, the thing that women like the most, I think also the women's sacred circle um, have response from that. Um, women sign up way in advance. They love the groups. They love, you know, they, they find a uh, sisterhood uh, where they can chit chat with each other, where they can get ideas and solutions to our everyday, you know, Sometimes it's just a book and just kind of disconnect um, of, you know, your everyday, you know, commitments. So I think those are the, the funnest and the most asked for things. And I didn't realize that you had a location, a physical location in Palencia. We do. We um, recently opened it right before um, this whole change happened. Uh, a few weeks prior, we opened it. I had a physical location at the World Golf, and um, and I wanted to expand because my clients were asking for more classes and location. I didn't have the space, so we got a really beautiful little villa right um, behind um, Starbucks um, in Palencia, oh, yeah. and um, and so we have the room to do like meditation circles. We have, you know. We have a love to. Oh, that's really cool. I think I know right where you're talking about. Oh, that's really cool. I think I know right where you're talking about. Yeah. That's unfortunate. Yeah, so that we you just, just opened, opened it and this whole thing happened and it's been like <laughs> we were so excited. But you know, I, I really believe that these things happen for a reason and it has been a very productive time for me. Um, as an owner and it kind of like put in order my my goals and my ideas and kind of like you know re reminded my love and and wanted to incorporate into it I have also made uh, some very um, exciting partnerships during this time and um, where you know with women here in St. John's County that are doing amazing things and and so we have partner and I think moving forward, I'm, I'm planning on opening the studio in May um, for just one on one sessions to start um, maybe three times a week. But um, I think it, had, it allowed me time to kind of get together with other women and, and kind of see what they do and how they're impacting our community and for this kind of restart with like a new focus. Um, so although at the beginning it was quite scary um, and we were like, oh, no, what are we going to do? We just opened and, you know, we took a bigger place. And uh, of course, the financial commitment is bigger and all that stuff. Um, it just kind of, I don't know, it just transitioned into a very exciting time that I'm very grateful for. And I'm so looking forward to getting back in there and um, doing what I love. Yeah, I, I absolutely agree yeah, with I you. Agree with when you. all this first happened, I've had to cancel about five or six events and it was so scary. I didn't know what I was going to do. And then I've taken this time to do things like this, like the virtual stuff, the interviews. And I've met so many great people yes. and hopefully like further the connections because at the events, I don't have time to get to know my vendors. And this right. has been a great opportunity. Like I've learned more about you than I ever have at any of my events. And it's just great to, to have these opportunities <laughs> now. And I always participate in your event. I love them. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah. So, um, but we never really get a time, the time to like chit chat. You're right. Yeah, no. And, and I have hundreds of vendors coming in and out and I couldn't even probably tell you much, anything personal or even detailed too much about their business. It's just, this has been a wonderful opportunity and, and you're just down the street and 
like you said, with partnerships, I'm always thinking like, oh, how to work with someone or what we can do to help each other. Or we're um, thinking of doing a, a virtual health mm -hmm. summit. So I will definitely reach out to see if you're interested in something like that. Oh, absolutely. I would love to partner up. I think partnering up is okay. So the reason the reason why I opened the holistic center was to do exactly what we're doing right now, because I always felt very strange that every time we work through our door has, you know, we are so uniquely put together and we are all so different and our needs are so different that I could not possibly meet their everybody's needs or any one person needs i think it takes a team um to kind of and when you have the access and you know the person and you know what they stand for and you have a mind like and an ethical compass that matches you feel more comfortable in saying i know what you need i may not be able to give it to you but reach out to melissa i know how she operates and there's a there's a piece in doing that because you know you're recommending somebody that you truly trust that you know and you know their ethic and you you feel comfortable just referring some somebody you care for and i think that's what partnerships do you know i think that we are offering clients a more holistic and more united um uh, and they give them choices um where you know you're not just saying i'm the only one that can help you that you can say you know, I have an array of people. I have a team of people that live in this county and do amazing work. And um, although you may walk with you through the through this piece of your journey, your next piece of the journey may be with somebody else. And just knowing that person and knowing them and knowing them intimately and knowing what they're all about and knowing what their business is about is a huge, huge tool um, for for my clients to be able to reach, you know, the kind of help that they're looking for. So for me, it's just so, so exciting. You know, it's just exciting to be able to, to have a group of women that we're all working towards the same goal. Yeah, absolutely. I think you kind of made me think of another idea about having, you know, sessions with so many women or business owners and within that session is kind of a brainstorming of, how could we either one work together or, you know, how can maybe I help you? And it's maybe not so much selling each other, but it's more of. No, 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 like no, no. It's not about in. that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's about, it's about partnership. And I'm actually having, I'll send you an invite. I'm having uh, what I call tea time for um, connections and partnerships. Perfect. Um, on the 29th of May, I said, and, and it's uh, quite a few, um, uh, entrepreneur women that are, you know they have 501c3s you interview um, Kathleen Miner she's mm -hmm. gonna be there um, quite a few of um, very important and involved women in our county are gonna be there because I want everybody to um, kind of have like this little clan of women that are doing the same thing in different ways and I think we need to know each other support each other um in order to help our community and that's you know solely my goal yeah that's that's awesome i would love to be involved in that i don't know what happened you went off <laughs> <laughs> am i back so so yes yeah, so that's my goal my goal is to have you know um connections and and people under my roof i do my work but i also invite other uh, practitioners to come into the studio and provide different services for my clients um, and, I'm, and every time I meet somebody that is doing something interesting and um, and is doing something that I feel is beneficial to my clients I always invite them I always include them I think we need to come from a sharing place um, there's enough for everybody Mm -hmm. And also, I think we should come from a place of love and cooperation and not competition. I think it doesn't help anybody when you're, you know, when you want to do it all on your own. And, 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 and it just, well, for me, it doesn't work. It works better when, when I have connections and, and when I know what other women are doing in the community. And that just fills my heart. I just, I love to see women succeed and I love people benefit from 
Yeah, I agree with you 100%. I believe that there's enough for everybody to go around, even if it's a similar service. Everybody yes. offers a little different twist on their service. No one's going to be the exact same. And uh, yeah, I, I 100% agree. No, 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 no. So what yeah. is? And also, you know, I always say uh, to my to, I always say to people, it's like doctors. You know, there's a million doctors, but you resonate with the one, you know, with one person and you're like, you wouldn't change him for the world. You know, you can have one next door to you and you drive 40 minutes <laughs> to the one you love. You know, it's just about, you know? Yeah, no, you're doesn't right. Mean, you know, it doesn't mean I'm better or, you know, it's just a matter of just connecting. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. What do you, what do you love most about being your own business owner? What do you, what do you love most about being your own business owner? Um, the flexibility, the flexibility, um, my, my, my own stuff without really having to consult. Um, well, you know, I still consult with my husband and, you know, my partner, the partner when he comes responsibility with product partner Miss Parker she's an amazing woman and she's been an herbalist for 30 years we consult each other but it gives me the flexibility also to be a mom uh, to participate in my children's lives um, more actively which is a huge huge um, thing for me um, it also allows me to participate um, in other in other you know venues and and it gives me the flexibility to come and go as I need. And um, if I, you know, if I have a call, sometimes I get a call from my clients, you know, you know, have, you know, space where you can, you know, open the studio and say, come on, I'll meet you there now. I have that flexibility, you know. Um, right. So um, I, I'm really enjoying it. I have worked in the corporate world life and you know i'm 52 years old i'm starting this new venture so it's pretty exciting yeah that's awesome and very brave so in terms of like you making that leap i know you said you had a space in the world golf so you had already kind of worked your way into having that extra responsibility but what was that was there any fear in going to something different yes of course last i was I, it was something, you know, it was very long coming, you know, it's kind of like this, I, I call it a birth, you know, it's kind of like you're I wanted to have um, a holistic center and that was my thing. I would call it a holistic center. I want to have a holistic center where people can come and they can hang out and rest and find peace and that was my young idea. It was a place that being where, where I always felt that people needed a place where they were always calm, that they were not, you know, they were met where they were at. And I wanted to have that. I, I always did it with my friends. My friends were always like, oh, I'm coming over because your house is so peaceful, kind of thing. <laughs> I like so that. I kind of wanted to just come, come and be. And um, I, I love the corporate world. I work for big, big companies like American Express, Continental Airlines, and I like the hustle and bustle and traveling all over the place and doing all of that. And, and uh, I did um, that kind of work. Then my friends were opening up businesses as I got older, and they were like, "Can you help me set up my business?" And then so I would help them. And, um, and this last time I, I was um, just um, helping a friend of mine that was opening a spa. My husband said, why are we doing that again? Why don't you just do your thing? Do your thing, you know? And it was kind of the little push I needed. Um, and I was just like, let's do it. And it just, I came about um, the name of it. Um, I, I saw the I Lotus and I was thing and it was just very like I woke up and I was like oh I know what I want to name I know I want to I knew like I knew and um and it just moved very very fast. 
um, I don't consider um, it was like I could talk, you know, with it. It was that little, and um, and it grew like very fast, and um, and it w and then there was that time uh, where you go, okay, you know, do I want to expand? Do I want to, you know, change everything? Do I want to take a bigger chance? Do I want to? you know commit myself a little more and um or do i stay where i'm at and so people were asking for different things i just couldn't do it i didn't have this my my what i call my little cube was literally a little cube i mean i had barely space for a bed you know like it was very little and um so we had a conversation we had a long conversation with husband. And, um, new space and um and i feel like this is the time and um and we can do it or you know, I feel like if you do it and it doesn't work out at least you did it right you did it and you can say i tried and and it didn't go well, but that's okay. I think you can live with that, you know? But then Absolutely. the thought of saying I should have, you know, should have, you know? So um, I think that was my, you know, I just wanted to to continue to do what I do. And then I wanted to have more space um, to be utilized by other um, people. I wanted to be able to say, use my place. You know, um, there's a lot of meetings going on in St. John's County, you know, with women you know, me have lost their children. Uh, the foster care system has, you know, has a um, an association that meets and needs space. Um, you know, there's a lot going on in town, and I wanted to be able to say, come and use my space. And I didn't have that luxury with, where I was at. So now we have plenty of space where, you know, we can partner up with other 501c3s or we can partner up with other businesses that are attending to women and have the flexibility to for the space um, and that makes I love that <laughs> that's so kind <laughs> yeah and it was scary. it continues to be sometimes but I think I've gotten better at letting it letting that go I kind of feel like I know things are tough for everybody, you know, and I feel very blessed to be in the position that I'm in. Um, it's, it's just a business, it's a building, you know. I mean, there's people that have, lo you know, that have lost their child or their husbands or their grandma. Mm -hmm. uh, people are ill right now all over the world. People are hungry. They don't have money to pay. And so, um, you know, it's a building, you know, I mean, if it doesn't if it doesn't work out to where I can keep it, if there's a reason for that. Maybe you know, yeah. God is sending me in a different direction. So I've kind of let go of that feeling of like, oh my God, we're gonna to close. Mm -hmm. I did have that, of course. I had to go through that. <laughs> okay, well. But at least it'll be nice that in May you can do one-on-one -on -one sessions and promote that. Yes. Yes. Yes, and I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it. So, so anybody I'm gradually, was interested, like everybody else, you know, reopen. Huh? Oh, I was just saying that if anybody was interested, like, because you're going to be doing the one-on-one -on -one Reiki, if anybody was interested. They would just go to your website or contact you? Yes. Um, my phone number is in my website, and uh, but it's 954-647-1885. And I do my own scheduling. And um, so I'm going to the clients. We come in uh, my clients. And, um, and I'm hoping to go back to doing the classes and the circles um, in the following months, you know, and getting back um, to the, to a small group of people, you know, you know, seven people or less. Right. Um, 
you know, because I know that there's a need for it and I know people are waiting for it. And, um, but I want to kind of regroup, um, but at a slow pace and I want to be safe. I don't want to affect anybody's health. Yeah. That makes sense. Is there anything else that you want to share about your business that maybe I didn't ask? Uh, no, I think I've shared everything. Um, I just want everybody to know that, you know, we are in Palencia. Um, I'm always a phone call away. Um, if you need assistance, if you need help, um, and if I don't have the answers, I certainly would um, refer you to someone or find somebody that can help you. Um, we um, we look forward to just having a, a new star and new clients and new partnerships. And, um, and I'm so thank you for having me. Absolutely, and let us know in the future if there's anything we can do to help you get the word out about a certain program, a certain product, or just in general remind people of your studio. I would love that. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, I would definitely like to continue the partnership and and grow the relationship and grow the relationship. Absolutely. I would love that. I'll send you an invite. Okay. That sounds great. And just keep in touch and let me know what's going on. And I'll reach okay. out to you after about in case you're interested in the virtual health summit. Thank you. Thanks, you're Melissa. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Thanks. You're welcome. Thank you so much.